Like, girl, how are you going to be trying to give us advice and you doing the same thing? Welcome to the By the Window series. In this series, we will be having girl chats. We'll be getting into some very juicy topics and you guys will get to know a little bit about me. Let's start the conversation. Future Beats. Hello, welcome to the By the Window series. My name is Tasha and as you guys can see by the title, this is going to be a girl chat series. This is episode one and I am super, super excited to hop into some very interesting topics throughout the course of this series. So before we get started, you guys see the ambiance over, ambiance over here? Yeah. So we have our pink apple punch scent and one thing that you'll learn about me is that I love 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 smell goods and i love candles hence we have candles here we have flowers right here and then all of this is my perfume collection but that's not why you guys are here so this is going to be the setup for the time being um so let's go ahead and get started so a little bit about me is i am 27 years old i grew up in maryland born and raised my entire life um and yes i have a son i am a single mother um, I had him when I was 19 years old. Um, I went to school and got my associate's degree in criminal justice strictly online, and I do work full time. And some of the things that I like to do in my free time are create content, obviously, and um, I like listening to music. I love old R&B music, old soul music. I just love, love, love music that has meaning behind it, and I felt like I talk a lot y'all like when I'm at work I talk a lot so I was just like you know what let me start this series my subscribers have been saying that they want to get a little bit more personal and I felt like this was a great way for me to share my opinion on a variety of different topics so let's hop into the video and I got me some coke right here y'all because I don't drink soda like that but I needed this so Whew. Now that we got that out the way, we are going to be talking about depression and I'm going to get in a little bit into my story, not a lot, but a little bit into my story and then we're going to talk about some ways that I think will be helpful for you guys to either A, fight your seasonal depression if you're a person and you're like me and you tend to fall into seasonal depression this would be a great video for you to continue to watch and it's just also for you to get to know me a little bit so um, a little bit about my background with depression I have been diagnosed um, with general depressive disorder at certain points in my life um, am I currently diagnosed no but I do tend to get depressed around the winter months and so it's mainly because for one it gets dark earlier um i'm the type of person where i don't really like to go outside but i do realize that when i go outside i feel better um and yeah so also during this the colder months is just an anniversary for you know my dad's passing and you know he passed away so he's no longer here he passed away when i was about 15 years old so it's just one of those things around november i tend to get really you know sad to say the least um and then also like when you see social media and you see people just celebrating with families and you see like how some different families their dynamics are a bit different sometimes it just makes me a little sad because not that i don't have a loving family because i do it's just that i see like a lot of things that i want to do if that makes sense um and then also with me being a single mom it just is like a yearly reminder that i am a single mom um there isn't a man in the home um and while i'm grateful that i'm happy my son is healthy i would be lying if i sat here and said that I love doing everything on my own girl because I don't so I think that's really where a lot of my depression stems from especially during the colder months because you know you're inside it's not as much to do and when you have kids you really don't want to be outside and so I just feel like all of those things kind of aid in me getting seasonal 
depression sometimes. And then also, like, can we just be honest? Like, if you're single, you get lonely sometimes. And it's not the worst thing in the world, but you get lonely. And so, yes, that is just... Those are just, this, this is just a topic that I feel like people need to speak about because at the end of the day, a lot of people suffer in silence. I'm the type of person where like when I'm going through things, I tend to isolate myself from people and I just wanted to share with you guys if you experience the same thing that you are not alone. And so yes, but I have been on top of my mental health. If you did not see my video where I talked about going from being in a place of being very broken and just all over the place. My emotions were everywhere. I, and then what I did to basically get back on my feet. And then I'm gonna also share with you guys some things that I think that you can do, and which is also something I'm gonna be doing and we're going to be doing together, okay? Together to get through this winter in colder months. So I'm already in therapy and I highly recommend that going to therapy is extremely helpful and something that I noticed that it's not super popular in the black community for us to take our mental health serious, especially if you're a Christian. I do, you know, identify as a Christian. So we were basically raised by like certain people in our family and things like that to pray and just take our worries to God and not saying that we should not do that. But I do think that sometimes your mental health definitely needs to be addressed in a different way other than just praying about it and going to church you know what i mean you want to do maintenance on your mental health because going to church praying reading the bible and all that stuff is good but you want to make sure that you have someone that you can speak to who is a trusted person who will keep their confidentiality depending on if you're a person that has dealt with trauma in their either childhood or just throughout their adult life because i personally have experienced my fair share of trauma and I feel like it definitely shapes um, my mental health. It aids in some of the ways that I feel during the colder months and so yes. So I definitely say go to therapy, I go to therapy, journal if you can. I was really big on journaling last year because that was like when I hit a major milestone for myself and in my healing journey I was writing, writing, writing and when I go back to look at my journal now it's like crazy to say that this time last year, I was at like one of my lowest points. And so, yes, so you wanna journal, you wanna go to therapy, and you don't have to do all of these things. You can just pick what works for you. And I also wanna encourage you guys not to isolate yourself. I'm still working on that, but I do realize when I just get on the phone with someone, who I can trust or someone who just I love dearly like my brother I can call my brother and we can sit on the phone for hours and I can talk to him about whatever it is that I'm stressed about get you a loved one or a friend anyone or you can talk to me girl you can talk to me because I have a best friend but I only have like one or two friends so it's okay so you can, you can email me or you can follow me on Instagram and we can you know DM you know we can talk or we can talk on the phone you know just let me know or you can drop some comments down below okay can but yeah there is so many different ways that you can stay on top of your mental health in this season i know that you guys can do it and i'm going to actively be talking about this in my blogs um i'm going to be opening up more because i did get some feedback and i know that you guys want to know a little bit more about me but we all have to be realistic that Sometimes the internet is just not a safe space and you need to find a safe space, right? So that could be journaling, that could be going to therapy, that could be talking to loved ones, that could be finding yourself a hobby and doing something to keep your mind busy, you know what I mean? And then another thing that I think that you guys could do, which I'm also going to do, I'm also going to take my own advice, is being okay with that I can't do everything being okay with me not reaching my goals all the time um i am a person i like to pride myself on getting things done that i say i'm gonna get done but at the same time not self-sabotaging and that's something that i'm working on so if you let go of your self-sabotaging that's also another way that you guys can you know stay on top of your mental health during the colder seasons um and these are just things that I also be doing myself. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not just talking at you guys. No, I'm not. Because I know that if somebody was telling me all this stuff, they'd be like, girl, how are you going to be trying to give us advice and you doing the same thing? I'm talking to myself too, because I'm probably going to rewatch this like I do all my videos. So, yes. I just really hope 
that this was a great start to our by the window series i am going to get into a little bit more some juicier topics along the way but i wanted to start my series off by talking about something that's super important and something that's near and dear to my heart because i do know plenty of people who you know suffer in the mental health to the point where they cannot like pull themselves out of it and they don't they're not their mind isn't like my mind you know what i mean and they're not in a space to where they can do better and so I just wanted to encourage any of my subscribers, if you guys are going through anything, if the winter months are harder for you, like they are for a lot of us, my heart goes out to you if you lost any family members. And I just can't wait to jump into this series. So cheers to episode one. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and drop some topics down in the comments. And I will see you guys later. Bye. Thank you for watching. Now that we've wrapped that up, be sure that you're subscribed and I would love to hear your thoughts. Until next time, take care.